let's get started with our uh, presentation here. And just so you know, uh, Biz Central USA, who's bringing you this, this webinar today, is a one-stop uh, resource center for small business and entrepreneurs nationwide. We've helped over 20,000 different clients in all 50 states. Most of us, just like most of you on listening today, uh, found us online. Uh, we're located down here in our beautiful Orlando, Florida, about 20 minutes from Mickey Mouse. And uh, if you're ever down this way, we'd love for you to pop in and see us. I like to tell all my clients we're actually a brick and mortar. So a lot of times you go online looking for, for some help with a business plan or a website or getting incorporated, and you're a little bit concerned about the people you're talking to or the people you find. Uh, just keep in mind that we have an actual location. We have clients that actually walk in our doors every day. We're not offshore. We don't operate out of our mom's basement. You can actually walk in here and, and speak with one of us. Although most of you that we get to work with and work for, uh, we speak to you over the phone and through email uh, because you're in California or New York, Chicago, and aren't able to come see us. But we even love to see our clients after they've used our services if they're ever in the area. So just keep that in mind. And I'm John Martinez. I'm a business consultant here with uh, Business Central USA. I'm really glad to be with you uh, this afternoon. So two uh, really commonly asked questions are, will the webinar slides be available for download? And the answer to that question is yes, which you already know because you can see the yes button there. And the second question is, is will the webinar be recorded and available on demand? The answer to that question is also yes, because I remember to hit the record button, which we've uh, at times forgotten to hit. So uh, I'm glad they reminded me to do that. So we are recording right now, and the recorded webinar will be available at bizcentralusa.com webinar archive backslash index. You can see it right there. I'll leave it for a little bit longer for those of you who like to take furious notes. Uh, you can write that down so you can find it later. Uh, but you can also call us uh, here at Biz Central to get that uh, address if you can't write it down fast enough or if you lose it. Um, so there's a couple things here. You can um, make sure that you, uh, you can ask questions if you uh, want to have a question answered. Sometimes we get to some of the questions during the webinar itself. If we don't get to your question during the webinar, or if we run out of time, we will answer that via email. We'll get back to you with uh, the questions that you have. So feel free uh, to log in and, uh, and to put your question there. Send it to us. Also, uh, you can answer the little survey we got there. Okay, for today's webinar, this is our agenda. We're going to do a quick introduction on business plans, you know, what a business plan is for. We're going to talk about business plan components and how to use them. We're going to talk about the benefits of a business plan. And we'll talk about where to go from here. And my screen seems to be frozen. I apologize. Give me a second. Trying to get the screen to move here. There we go. Here's a, a fact that 90% of new businesses fail in the first two years and failure is often attributed to lack of planning. And this reminds me of something that a wise old rabbi once said. He said, a wise man builds his house upon a rock, and when the storms and waves come, it stands firm, but the foolish man builds his house on the sand. So as we translate that to the business world, a wise person, a wise man or woman starting a business will build their business on a good business plan so that they uh, already know what the competition is. They already know what the storms are going to be. The foolish person uh, rushes in, doesn't have a good plan, and when the competition comes in or he hasn't really uh, assessed his market, 
those storms come and, and he doesn't have what he needs and his business does fail, it does collapse. So here's the, the business plan basics. It's taking time to create an extensive business plan, provides a company with insight into your business. And for a business plan, for a business to be successful and profitable, the owners and the managing directors must have a clear understanding of the firm's customers, strengths, and competition. Not to mention, most businesses need money. And for you to approach a, a bank for a loan or some investors to invest in your business, the very first question they're going to ask you is, do you have a business plan? And the second thing is, is they're going to want to see your business plan to see if they think it's viable. So here we come to the top 10 benefits of a business plan. Number one is to test the feasibility of your business idea. So writing a business plan is the best way to test whether or not an idea for starting a business is feasible other than going out and just doing it. Now in this sense, the business plan is your safety net. Writing a business plan can save you a great deal of time and money uh, if working through the business plan reveals that your business idea is untenable. Much better to spend a little bit of money on a business plan to realize it's not going to work than, than get all the money and your own personal investment of time and money uh, before that fails. Uh, often an idea for starting a business is discarded at the marketing analysis or competitive analysis stage, freeing you to move on to a new and a better idea. So number two, the number two reason, uh, the, the number two benefit of a business plan is to give your business the best possible chance of success. So writing a business plan will ensure that you pay attention to both the broad operational and financial objectives of your new business and the details such as budget and market planning. Taking the time to work through the process of writing a business plan will make for a smoother startup period and fewer unforeseen problems as your business becomes established. Number three, we mentioned this a minute ago, uh, the benefit is to secure funding uh, with, uh, so, with such as you know, things like bank loans. You're going to need both operating and startup capital to start a new business, and you have no hope of getting any money from an established financial institution such as banks without a well-developed business plan. And established businesses often need money too. So even after you start, you might need to get some more money for a new endeavor. Um, uh, you may need to buy property or equipment, or because of a market downturn, you might need some new some new money. And having a business plan for an established business gives you a much better chance of getting money you need to keep operating or to expand. So business plans aren't for just startup businesses. Number four, to make business planning manageable and effective. A business plan is essential if you're thinking of starting a business. I think I just said this. I, I jumped in front of myself. But it's also an important tool for established businesses. Viable businesses are dynamic. They change and grow. The company's original business plan needs to be revised as new goal, goals are set. Reviewing the business plan can also help you see what goals have been accomplished, what changes need to be made, or what new directions your company's growth should take. Number five, to attract investors. Whether you want to shop your business to venture capitalists or attract angel investors, you need to have a business plan. A, present, a presentation may pique their interest but they'll need a well-written document they can take away and study before they'll be prepared to make any investment commitment. All right, number six, to create clear business objectives. Use your business plan, oh, here we go. Uh, use your business plan to define and manage specific measurable objectives like sales, 
margins or new service offerings. Define success in objective terms. Number seven, to develop milestones will keep you on track. Use a business plan to keep track of dates and deadlines in all in one place. This is valuable even for the one-person business and is especially vital for teams. Number eight, to help business owners better plan and manage cash flow. No business can afford to mismanage cash and simple profits are rarely the same as cash. A cash flow plan is a great way to tie together educated guesses on sales, costs, expenses, assets you need to buy, and debts that you have to pay. Number nine, to eliminate future opportunities. While the main purpose of a business plan is to help businesses move from startup to success, a business plan can also be indispensable as a tool for future development and growth. So making the right decisions today can help to ensure the success of future developments tomorrow. A business plan can help illuminate these opportunities and move companies in the right direction. Another way to say that is it's really important for a new business to know what it is going to do and what it's not going to do, what it needs to say no to. And number 10, the number 10 benefit of a business plan is to provide course corrections that will keep your business from failing. Having a business plan gives you a way to be proactive instead of reactive about business. Don't just wait for things to happen, plan them. Follow up by tracking the results and making course corrections. It's a myth that a business plan is supposed to predict the future. Instead, it sets expectations and establishes assumptions so you can manage the future with course corrections. So there's the top 10 benefits of a business plan. And here's the business plan components. There's the executive summary, the company summary, products or services, market analysis, management summary, and the financial plan. Uh, you know, for the executive summary, it's a persuasive summary that will entice a reader to take the plan seriously and read on. It's going to have a little bit of a marketing feel, kind of a little bit of a salesy feel. This is what we're going to provide. This is uh, the benefits we will, we will be in the community. And uh, here's why you should take this plan seriously. And that's for either investors or for the bank to keep reading. So using your executive summary, you want to communicate with your customers. Uh, and you might take components of your executive summary and use that on your website, uh, on your About Us page on your website uh, for marketing materials. It kind of gives the company vision snapshot. And you use it to communicate with your management team, your board of directors, your business partners, and you're communicating your objectives, your goals, solutions, and conclusions. So a company summary should discuss in detail the business's ownership and legal status. And it should also include information on the company's startup. Kind of where you've been, what the uh, why you're deciding to start this particular business, maybe because of your background or your educational background, but why you got in your heart to start this business, this company. So using your company summary, uh, you reach your target audiences and customers through, through your website, through press releases, through brochures and plant pamphlets. And then implemented in sales calls for various sales strategies and prospecting. And it also is going to provide your, an overview of your company, about your company, about the products, the different services and things you'll be providing. Uh, products or services. It's important to discuss the competitive advantage a business product or service has over the competition. So when the bank or your investors are reading your business plan, they have to have an idea of why you think you've got a place in the market. For instance, if you think you need to have a, an overnight delivery business 
and go into competition with FedEx and UPS, you know, what is it you're going to bring? Are you going to be are you going to be less expensive? Are you going to have better customer service? Are you going to be able to deliver the product in a in a new or unique way? Why do you think there's a place for you in the market? What makes you different? What makes you competitive? As we just said, you know, what's different about your product or service or, or what's different about your pricing that would make an investor or, or a bank think that, that there's a place for you in the current market? Using the products or services, you want to classify your business according to your economic activity. And you want to analyze collect and then publish data about your business. I have a few issues with the uh, computer screen here, so bear with me for just a minute. My computer is freezing up. I know you know people out there uh, don't have ever have any issues with your computer freezing up on you. All right. Appreciate your patience with us as we are trying to handle our, there we go, our technical difficulties. Okay. You also want to measure growth and potential for expansion into new products or services. All right. The next section, section is market analysis. So knowing the market's needs and how uh, they currently service prov provides you with knowing information is essential in development, developing your product, service, and marketing. Conducting in a, market, a market analysis will help you prepare to enter a new market to launch a new product or service and three, start a new business. So you have to kind of know if there's enough people in your market that can afford your product. If there's uh, how many other businesses are doing the same thing in your market. Those are the kind of things that a market analysis will tell you. Management summary. Investors must feel confident that the management team knows its market product and has the ability to implement the plan. Do you have the right team in place? So using your management summary, you need to update the skills of your internal management staff members. So that's something you need to be doing anyways, having them do an ongoing training for, you, for your staff, your team, and for yourself, so that down the road as you need to get new funding, uh, your team looks like the kind of uh, a group, the, the right team to take your business to the next level, and that investors or a bank that's going to give you money will feel confident that you're going to take that money, make it grow, and basically be, be able to pay them back uh, you know, with a profit. You want to describe how each member contributes to the company. You want to set expectations and duties of each member and the management team. And you want to have a very good organizational uh, chart. The next part is the financial plan. One of the first steps to having a profitable business is to establish a bookkeeping system which provides data in the following four areas. You want to have a balance sheet, a break-even analysis, a profit and loss statement, and a cash flow. So you want to be able to show them a plan where you, you already know, you've already got planned out how long it's going to take you to, uh, to be in business before you break even and then start making a profit. Uh, and that's critical to, to know that ahead of time. Using your financial plans, uh, it helps you with a snapshot of your business's financials. It helps you to track progress. And it helps you to adjust future goals and sales objectives. All right. So where do we go from here? Business plans are useful at all stages of a company's existence. 
A common myth is that business plans are only useful for startups. I'd probably say of all the business plan clients we have here, probably 60% are new businesses and 30 to 40% are ones that have been around for some time that are now needing to expand the business. The reality is that every business needs a business plan. And, and along with our business plan writing services, here are some other things that, that, uh, that we at Biz Central help with. We, we try to be kind of a cradle to grave service provider for new and small businesses. So we obviously help with the business plan writing. We help with the business certifications. That's your hub zone, your 8A, your WBE, your MBE, your DBE, uh, the WOSB, the EDWOSB, the SBE. You know, every state, region uh, has certifications. Those can be local uh, certifications. Here in Orlando, where we are, there's a certification for Orlando, for Orange County, for the state of Florida, and some of our clients need to have all three uh, to be successful in, in their business. We can help you a new business with its incorporation. We do this work in all 50 states. So uh, let, let us know if you need help with that. We help develop some great business websites. Uh, a lot of our business plan clients will get a business plan and a website at the same time. So while we're writing their business plan, we're developing their website. So when they go see investors, when they go to the bank, they can already have a, a, a great website that kind of helps paint the picture of the kind of business uh, they're trying to start. We help with graphic design. So if you need a logo for your business plan or a logo for your website, if you need business cards designed, letterheads, uh, we, we, work, we, we do all that kind of work. If you need help with marketing, especially these days with, e with, with the marketing from your website, with your uh, Twitter account and your Facebook pages, uh, we can help you with the market, a marketing plan that works with your website and um, my mind just went blank with your Facebook, your Twitter, the social media. That's what I'm going to say with all your social media marketing. Whoops, we kind of jumped ahead there. We also help with the bookkeeping and accounting. Uh, if you need help with your nonprofit or for-profit bookkeeping and accounting, we do that. And we have about 30 different nonprofit services. So a lot of our small business clients have either started a nonprofit to meet needs in their areas and to help market their for-profit. Uh, and a lot of our, our clients, um, our, our small business clients, also serve on boards of nonprofits. So whether it's uh, uh, you're starting a small business or a, a for-profit business or a nonprofit business, we can help you with all the paperwork to get those started. Uh, we'd love to talk to you about your small business or your nonprofit or both. I've got some clients that uh, we've done lots of services for both their small business and for their nonprofit that they started. So our next webinar is about business certifications. So if you ever wondered, do you qualify for a certification? Or would it really be good for my business to get certified? What kind of contracts or subcontracts could I qualify for if I uh, began the certification process? Or maybe you thought, I've looked at that certification paperwork, it sounds like a great idea, but it seems kind of complicated. You know, come, come listen to the business uh, certification webinar. Or if you have questions about any of the things we discussed today or any of the services we have, of course, you can always give me a call. I'm John Martinez. I'm at extension 506. And of course, our phone number is right there, 407-857-9002. Uh, give me a call. I am a huge sports fan, so if you want to just call to discuss sports or your small business or your nonprofit. My background is I worked at a nonprofit for three years. I worked at a church for 10 years, and I've been in sales and uh, with different business startups for the last uh, 10 to 15 years. So. I've got a vast background in the for-profit and the nonprofit sector. Would uh, appreciate any of your questions directed to me via email. Feel free to find my uh, LinkedIn page and, and link in with me. Ask me questions through LinkedIn or through email, um, or just give me a call. Uh, we want to thank everybody for taking a little time out today. 
we went through this pretty quickly. Um, I know you're everybody's busy out there starting their new businesses, and uh, so I wanted to make this quick and concise. So let me know uh, how we can help you in the future. Again, just give us a call at 407-857-9002. Again, I'm John Martinez at Extension 506. You have a great day, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.